two former RCW champions head-to-head -head in the first round of the Strength Cup. That says a lot about the talent that we have here oh, in Riot City is, right now. This is certainly a bracket you would have hoped to have seen later in the, in the uh, tournament. Absolutely, Sean. Two of the best going around in the country. And in have done for a long time. In the world, Tyler Daniels. In the world. In this fact, pre this part crowd of the was split. Part of the reason I'm stuck with you at this commentary booth is because of Rocky Monero. Well, you know, as you saw, Sean, at the end of uh, what happened between me and Rocky, there is an immense amount of respect between us because both of us will do whatever it takes. And you know that. We saw that. Uh, hey, Rocky got me on that night. And then he got Adam Brooks last month to secure himself the key to the city, there which means, go. conceptually, if he goes all the way through and wins, uh-oh. Uh, fell for it. Despite that, if he goes all the way through and wins oh. the Strength Cup, he has two opportunities at the RCW Championship. You don't want to anger or show up Rocky Minero. One thing his man has is a lot of pride. And if you step on that pride like world-class Chris Basso just did, this is going to be interesting, Sean. This just picked up a notch as far as I'm concerned. The fuse has been lit, you say? Well, if the human hand grenade says the fuse has been lit, then we know this is going to be a barnstormer. Oh, yeah. It already was, but I can tell you right now, the fact that you've just, you've just embarrassed Rocky like that, he doesn't take kindly to that sort of thing. And we are underway with the first of our Strength Cup qualifiers. I mean this in a good way, unsurprising to see a technical start to this match because you are looking at two of the most qualified people in the country. These two are not going to rush in and make a mistake, Sean. They know each other incredibly well. They're going to test each other out. This is just that feeling out process. Where are you tonight? What sort of a game are you bringing to the show? Oh, Rocky with the pick up. <laughs> World class again. Cinching in that headlock, not Absolutely. giving it up. And you can see. You you can see how tight he's got that on Rocky. Rocky's head is turning red from that. And look, properly applied, a headlock can end a match. Oh, indeed. Indeed. Rocky will be working hard there to take some of that pressure. Oh, take that pressure off. And Chris Basso is not letting go. Pressure to the eyes, pressure to the sinuses, pressure to the forehead and the temples. Talk on the neck from moments like that. Absolutely. Walk up the ropes and straight over back into that headlock takedown. People say, oh, it's just a headlock. There's nothing just about a headlock. I defy anybody to be locked in a headlock properly hey, by someone like these guys absolutely. and then say there's just a headlock. Absolutely. Rope Rocky break there. Doing everything he can, including a rope break to get out of it. Look at him. He's not happy again, as you say. Now, the other thing about Rocky is that he's a master manipulator. We saw how he tricked Adam Brooks last oh, month indeed. at HQ. Cagey. He reanimated. Very cagey customer. Knows like every trick in the book. Looked like he had done himself a serious neck injury on the apron and yet rolled up for the victory and took away the key to the city. Oh, look, and to be fair, both of these men will go through immense pain. You know, we saw Chris Basso have a, a crippling knee injury a year or two ago. Have to come back from that. Cover. Oh, and a bridge up. Oh, and back to that headlock, Sean. Nope. Good counter there by Rocky. He was ready for it that time. Absolutely. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. Absolutely. Keeping the pressure there on that arm. Rocky now with the headlock. Those are not biceps I would like to be trapped between. Oh. Tyler, tell us, what is it like trying to compete with the power of Rocky Monero in that squared circle? I'm going to tell you right now. Ah, uh, look at that, Sean. Sure. Before I answer, veteran clever move. Chris Basso does the drop down. Rocky goes, I've got you covered, son. I can tell you, Sean, sure, running into someone like Rocky Monero, you run into him and it feels like he ran into you. The man is solid. He is thick all the way through and he knows how to use every inch of that body of his. Uh, Chris Basso, catch it. Catches him there, and again, the ridicule, Sean. This is a contest of pride as much as it is tactics and muscle. Absolutely. Oh, 
Good night. Oh, 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 Sean. Is Rocky favoring that leg a little bit? Uh, he doesn't look great there, Sean. After that, uh, he's uh, definitely he's definitely taking more time than he would normally on this. Do you think it's the thigh or the quad? I don't, or? I don't know, Sean, but he oh. definitely looks ginger. Oh. oh, Hang on. He has stopped, Sean. Oh, you don't like to see that in any kind of match at all. No matter what you may think of a performer, no matter what they've done, you don't want to see an injury like that. I think that it's something to do with the leg. I can't quite see. He's, he's pointing the referee somewhere to do with his leg, but I'm not sure what. Skinny ref is there checking it out, making sure Basso stays back. Oh, look at Rocky's face. He's ashen. He's ashen, Tyler Daniels. He's just seeming to signal there, saying he's tweaked something or twisted something. Rocky's a proud man, as I said. If he can go, he will go. He will be wanting to do everything he can. He will do everything he can to see if he can go. Oh, no, that's not, that's not good. Oh, we've got a second our senior referee, Michael Kent, here. Who, of course, has medical training. Uh, well, you know, all our referees have medical training, Sean. It's a prerequisite. But, you know, Chris Basso now, as much as he wants to go, I think is a little concerned as well. Look, there's no animosity between these two men beyond the sort of pride we were talking oh, about before. They're both, they're both good guys, and they both want to go hard, and they want the best. They want you at 100% every time they face you. So this is going to be a downer for both of them. This doesn't look good, Sean. We might have to have a scratch in here in this early stage of the Strength Cup. That would be disappointing to see uh, either one of these men go, or any of these competitors go out like this, Sean. Yeah, the crowd is understandably you don't, you hushed. Don't, you don't want to see that. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Basu, I think he's going to offer to help him up. Just listen to the hush of this crowd, Sean. They're, 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 I think they're disappointed. They're devastated. Like I said, no matter what you think of a performer, no matter how they behave, we're a family here at Riot City. Oh, well. You yeah. care about everybody, even you at times. Sean, you can... Uh, <laughs> that's the thing about family, eh? You live with them, you don't have to love them. Exactly. And in a moment like this, this is when we all dig down uh, look. and look after each other. Uh, no, nah, look, leave him alone, Chris. You don't have to do that. He's, he's a big boy. He'll sort himself out. No, that's that's a sh sign of respect, Tyler Daniels. That's, I thought we, that's we, good we're going to have our second no contest of the evening, are we, Sean? Sadly, you can't uh, help moments like this. You know, uh, this is professional wrestling. It ain't ballet, and things like this do happen. Yeah, I, I, oh, come on, Sean. This is a bit. Wait a minute. <laughs> Your winner, Rocky Manero! <laughs> what the absolute hell was that? Sean, that. Oh! God damn it, Rocky! Oh, he's done the verbal Kent, the usual suspects. He's God pulled. damn it, Manero! I told you, Sean! You don't step on him. You don't disrespect him. You don't make him a fool. Chris Basso asked for this. You don't make him a fool. He made a fool out of all of us. Hey, Chris Basso started this. Chris Basso wanted to muck around with this standing in the turnbuckle thing. There you go. There's a man who knows how to get what, get, do what you need to to get it done. That is disgraceful. That is smart, Sean. That is a winner. That's a man with a W next to his name. No one to blame but yourself, Chris Basso. No sympathy there.